everybody it's Michelle and I've got a quick tip for you guys today to keep your avocados from browning I love to eat avocado but really I could never eat more than a half of an avocado at a time so I've been trying to figure out a way to keep the other half from browning it tends to go brown so fast and I really want to keep it to use for the next day First thing I did was go to Pinterest and see what that suggested. And of course we all know lemon juice or lime juice is most commonly suggested to coat the avocado to keep it from browning. First of all, a liquid will make it mushy and I really didn't want that. And I also found that it didn't work very well to keep it from browning anyway. So I went back to Pinterest and I found a suggestion for onions that if you store your avocado half in a container with onions the gases from the onion actually keeps it from browning and I liked that a lot because it didn't have to be mushy with the liquid and it really seemed to work better so one day I was cutting an avocado and I wanted to store the other half and I didn't have an onion so I decided to try out onion powder and see if that would offer the same benefits and I have found that it works very very well and it's easier to have this on hand and to store it anyway so I'm going to cut into my avocado and I'm going to use half of that another thing that i read is if you're storing half you want to store the half with the seed the seed actually helps to prevent browning as well so i'm just going to take that half i'm going to use this half in my salad for supper today and i'm just going to evenly coat the other half with onion powder and onion is a flavor that is always a good combination with avocado anyway so I think it works out wonderfully so that's a good coating there and I'm just going to take some plastic wrap and wrap that up even though I have the onion on there I'm still going to try to form my plastic around my seed there so that it lays flat against the avocado you want to keep as much air off of the surface of it as you can. Now I'm going to twist it tightly, fold it under, twist the other end tightly, fold that under, and I'm just going to put that into the refrigerator and we'll check on it tomorrow and see how it did. Okay, it's the next day, about the same time of day, so at least a full 24 hours that this has been in the refrigerator and I'm going to open it up and show you guys and I think that's actually very beautiful for an avocado that's been in the refrigerator for 24 hours you can go ahead and take that seed out of there and what very little bit of browning you might have around the edges you can just take off a thin slice and to be honest with you sometimes I get that slight browning and sometimes really none at all and minimal browning is going to be your worst case scenario if any at all this is absolutely the best method that I have found to keep avocados from browning so that's just a quick tip for you guys to keep your avocados from browning. I think this was an absolutely wonderful discovery with the onion powder. The onion powder not only is easier to have on hand at all times, but you can also sprinkle it and get a more even coverage so you really prevent a lot of the browning. And some of that browning that we did take away was really just a discoloration of the onion powder not the avocado you can see that it is absolutely gorgeous before I discovered this with the onion powder 
I really was buying a lot less avocados because I didn't want to see them go to waste. So I hope this will be helpful to you guys as well in getting more use out of your avocados and being able to keep more healthy options on hand. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. If you try it, I would love to know how it turns out for you. And if you have other suggestions, I'd love to hear those as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Healthy Minds and Bodies. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to all of those in the description below. So be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.